Hi, this is Gary at Music Sync Tank. This is my uh, Supernova version 1. And this is the full screen of the editor, which I'm running within SX3 of Cubase. Uh, obviously, for, this, for the demonstration purposes, uh, I'm zooming in on the different areas I'm using. So you've got the three oscillators there. You can select the waveforms. I mean, this is all things that you can do on the Supernova itself. I know it's got lots of knobs on it for twiddling, but there's still quite a lot of uh, menus you need to go through. Uh, a lot of the knobs have multi-functions on the unit itself. So this sort of spreads it out across the screen and you can access straight away what you want to access pretty much instantaneously. So you've got the three oscillators there at the top on the left hand side. And the controls, the basic controls for each oscillator is there. At the moment it's on a square wave. And that's just the first oscillator I'm, I'm sort of playing with there. You can bring in the second oscillator, so put them both on a double saw wave. So you can have a detuned kind of effect going on. And of course all these changes are all... Um, you can uh, write them into Cubase on the fly basically as it's going, and then you can edit later, it'll come up as automation on your sequence, so you can actually fine-tune any, any changes you make. And again, this is a MIDI device that you import into the MIDI device manager. I'm running Cubase SX3, quite an old version. 2004 I think on a Mac so uh, any guys out there with a PC running Cubase you could give it a whirl uh, I'm not sure if it will work um, but it's worth a try I think and virtually every control is, is on this editor that you find I think offhand I think the uh, the arpeggiator tempo and maybe uh, pitch bend range things like that but uh, your basic sound creation is all there So if we just reset that to a basic, again just a couple of waveforms running, and then move over to the frequency, you can see that the mouse looks like it's dragging behind there a little bit, but that's just my video uh, capture software. So that's your, your filter, and there's the sliders for all the different kinds of filters that are available, right from low pass right through to you know band pass, high pass, notch, everything. So you've got your cutoff and your resonance. And also controls there for driving the filter stage and key follow, things like that. So there's three envelopes. The first envelope always deals with the basically the uh, the level of the sound itself, so it's the kind of the VCA envelope. Then two assignable envelopes, envelopes two and three. We'll come back to those. And then the effects section, which is uh, the distortion, chorus, uh, flanger, phaser, reverb, and of course the delay. So you've got the synchronized settings at the bottom for the delay, delay as well, or you can turn the sync off and just set it manually. Um, with the feedback control as well. Again, this is a very quick kind of glimpse of all of the features. There's a lot of stuff on there, but it's a, a quick run through. And this section here is there's a lot of knobs on this section. This is the, what I've called the mod matrix, which is you've got the three oscillators, one, two, three, in banks, and then the way that they're affected by the two RFOs, the two envelopes, and also the mod wheel. So you can hear that the uh, LFO1 is modulating the sync of the waveform of oscillator 1. And then LFO2 is modulating in a negative way the sync as well, so you get some interesting effects there. And the, all the controls are for the LFO are alongside the mod matrix there for the speed and and also the tempo sync. And here we're just assigning envelope 2 to the cutoff frequency and changing the decay time of uh, envelope 2. Just turn the delay off so you can hear a bit more clearly. And we'll also modulate the sync with uh, envelope 2 also to give you that sort of hard edge on a lot of sounds, especially on basses. And then finally the arpeggiator, uh, all the controls there for tempo sync and the different uh, patterns, which number pattern you're using, and all the usual, all the controls that you've got in the unit itself for the arpeggiator. And here's the portamento controls, the time, the type, poly, mono switching, unison, number of voices for unison, and you 
can see the control for the noise as well. Obviously, there's a noise oscillator. And there's the chrome filter and various other controls. I haven't had, really had the time to go through totally, but uh, I know it's been a quick tour of the system. But uh, if you're interested, please go to the site, contact me. I'll, uh, if you email me, I'll send you a download link. And if it works for you, if you're happy with it, then uh, go to PayPal. And any contribution you can afford is much appreciated. Thanks.